I'm Lex Levy, and this is Ancient Odysseys, reporting live from Egypt. By now, you've likely heard about the Kafra SAR scans, which I initially spoke about in my episode 76, The Giza Underworld. The Kafra project, led by researchers Corrado Malanga from the University of Pisa and Filippo Biande from the University of Strathclyde, utilized proprietary synthetic aperture radar technology to scan the area beneath the Kafra Pyramid on the Giza Plateau. Their findings announced on March 15, 2025, has sparked great interest and stupendous hype due to suggestions of possible hidden chambers and anomalous shafts. Here we have an abstract of the conference on March 16, 2025. This abstract summarizes the key points of our research which aim to clarify the possible hidden structures inside the second pyramid of Giza, known as the Kafra Pyramid. This research was conducted using non-invasive techniques based on the publicly available synthetic aperture radar data provided as open source by Capella Space and Umbra. Our study was inspired by previous research conducted, described, and published by Filippo Biande and Corrado Malanga. That research focused on analyzing the internal structures of the Pyramid of Kafra, led to the publication of a book and a scientific paper. It revealed numerous internal structures within the first pyramid of the Giza Plateau, uncovering the presence of rooms and corridors, both above and below ground level. This research utilized synthetic aperture radar, SAR, technology. The Kafra project created 3D renderings to visualize their interpretation of the results, employing significant artistic license. Their interpretation of the results include five identical structures strikingly similar to the kings and relieving chambers of the Great Pyramid. These structures share the same shape as the so-called Z structure found inside the Pyramid of Khufu, above the ceiling of the so-called pharaohs or king's chamber. The five Zs appear to be connected by geometric pathways, and alongside these structures, additional secondary structures are visible from various satellite angles, as shown in some of the tomographic images below. These analyses of these data, obtained using entirely non-invasive techniques, are briefly summarized below. These findings allowed us to construct a 3D model of the entire complex. The examination of dozens of tomographic images obtained from different angles using Capella Space and Umbra radars enabled the 3D reconstruction of most of the objects inside the Pyramid of Kafra. Below, we present some of the images from our 3D analyses. Here is a side-by-side -side of the signal-to-noise ratio revealing the internal structure of the five Zs consisting of five horizontal levels and a sloping roof to their 3D interpretation. Here is another perspective of the scan of the so-called five Zs. Eight cylindrical wells, these vertical shafts, each surrounded by spiral pathways extending approximately 648 meters into the ground, and cuboid chambers. At the deepest levels, the wells connect to two massive cube-shaped structures, each measuring around 80 meters per side. The Kafra project goes on to state that, as observed in the 3D model, below the ground level, ground zero, of the main structure, vertically aligned cylindrical structures extend for hundreds of meters beneath the Giza Plateau. Notably, eight of these structures arranged in two parallel rows from north to south descend to a depth of 648 meters, merging into two large cubic structures measuring approximately 80 meters. The eight cylindrical structures identified in our tomographic images appear as vertical wells, hollow inside, surrounded by descending spiral pathways. The tomographic images clearly reveal that structures exist beneath the plateau, extending below pyramids of Kafra, Khufu, and Mankara, for approximately two kilometers beneath ground zero, as seen in the tomographic data, which places the pyramid of Kafra at the center, with Khufu's shadow on the right 
and Menkara in the upper left. These structures form a vast area of non-natural constructions following complex geometries. In the fourth step of our investigation, these structures will be further analyzed with the possibility of excavation. They are saying they intend to verify the nature of the artificial structures they identified. The Kaffer project goes on to state, that these eight cylindrical structures identified in our tomographic images appear as vertical wells, hollow inside and surrounded by descending spiral pathways. Collectively, these features form a complex subterranean network extending nearly two kilometers beneath the pyramid complex. These claimed discoveries challenge the traditional view that the pyramids were solely royal tombs, suggesting that they may have served additional functions. However, it's important to note that these findings have not yet undergone peer review, and I express severe skepticism regarding the interpretations of the SAR data. Further research and potential excavations are planned to validate these findings, pending approval from relevant authorities. Skepticism is crucial when interpreting these results for several key reasons. One, technological limitations. SAR can detect subsurface anomalies, but it doesn't provide detailed or definitive images. Variations in density, moisture, or material can create false positives. What appears as a structure might simply be a natural geological feature. 2. Interpretation bias. There is a tendency to interpret ambiguous data in favor of sensational or preconceived ideas such as hidden tombs or lost chambers. Without peer-reviewed analysis and corroboration from other methods like ground-penetrating radar or physical excavation, conclusions remain speculative. Three, lack of transparency. In some cases, preliminary findings are publicized without full data disclosure or proper academic vetting. This invites hype and conspiracy theories rather than informed scientific discourse. Four, scientific integrity. Skepticism doesn't mean outright dismissal. It means demanding rigorous methods, peer review, and reproducibility before accepting extraordinary claims. This ensures the integrity of archeology span and avoids misleading the public or distorting history. In short, skepticism serves as a safeguard against overinterpretation, helping ensure that conclusions drawn from the Koffer Project scans are grounded in science and not speculation. If you haven't seen it already, please go watch my husband Jeffrey Drum from the Land of Chems full SAR scan data analysis where he astutely addresses his concerns with these available data. A major issue that Jeffrey pointed out is why aren't the known chambers being detected in these scans? While I was creating this video, I obtained new SAR scan data images that was shared today, March 23rd, 2025, hot off the press. So let's take a look at these now. This is an interesting post made by the Koffer Research Project SAR Technology Group on their Facebook page, made today, March 23rd, 2025. It reads, detection issues related to the known structures inside the Pyramid of Kafra, satellite data, only reveal the entrance, the descending corridor, and the roof of Belzoni's chamber. This is because these structures are embedded in a limestone slab that absorbs the signal. This is a major issue because the entire pyramid and plateau is made out of limestone, with the exception of minimal use of red granite and basalt in some areas.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, pick up some merch, and stay tuned for more epic adventures from ancient odysseys. Never stop exploring.